okay so today's video is going to be an informational one again so what we are going to do or talk about today is how to wash a vehicle so this applies to a car and a bike it is not just how to wash a vehicle it's to wash a vehicle safely without introducing any scratches or swirl marks on the paint so as you can see there are you know a lot of vehicles in the garage so cleaning them itself is a big task so if i don't do it properly there is a very good chance that the paint jobs on everything will get ruined so i am very careful when it comes to washing the car or for that matter those bikes so what i usually do is i do not wash my vehicles if i do not have the proper time i don't do it in a hurry because that is when things get ruined so you know having a dirty vehicle is better than having a vehicle which requires paint correction okay so it is always important to understand that the vehicle needs to be washed properly in a proper order if not then it will introduce a lot of scratch and it will reduce the paint life okay so now the first thing that we are going to talk about is uh, how generally people wash vehicles and what is wrong with it and how it should be done correctly okay so you know when it comes to pressure washers you know i love pressure washers i have a karcher i had a karcher before so these are amazing pressure washers these are very powerful and it makes our job a lot easy but there are a lot of people who think that it is not something that they need it is a luxury uh, and they can wash their vehicles without you know uh, a pressure washer and i kind of respect that i don't disagree with them and i sincerely feel that you know these karcher pressure washers or for that any matter pressure washer the same results can be achieved using a normal wash so this is something that you know has a very divided opinion but i would say that a pressure washer is an amazing invention and it actually really makes your life a lot easier but having said that without a pressure washer also you can do a very good job okay so keeping that aside let's go back to our washing so what usually happens you know let's say you do not have a pressure washer so you have a bucket like this and in this bucket you will pour some soap solution usually you know most of the people get it very wrong what they do is they use normal hair shampoo and you know just make it a little frothy by you know pouring water and you know vigorously mixing it and once that becomes frothy they directly apply it on the vehicle surface okay so there are two problems there one shampoo is designed for hair it's not designed for paint so the problem with that is it is very harsh on the paint surface so the way it makes your hair shiny is removing a thin layer of the hair so people who use a lot of shampoo will lose their hair eventually but you know people who do not use a lot of shampoo they will not have a hair loss problem or hair thinning problem so same thing applies to the paint as well so if it's harsh on the human hair just imagine how harsh it must be on the paint so after a certain amount of time the paint becomes very faded so i have experienced this in my 20 years of vehicle ownership that shampoo is a very bad idea so again i'm repeating don't use hair shampoo on the car okay so having said that what i do is i have bought this you know car foam from amazon a couple of years back and it has lasted me good two years and it still has about you know a little more than a quarter left and i'm sure that i can use it at least for the next six to seven months and probably after that i'll have to buy a new one so car wash actually is the right thing to do it has the right ph for the paint and it doesn't ruin the paint at all okay but still you will have a lot of people arguing that you know i have been using shampoo on my car or my bike for years and nothing has happened obviously you know things which go bad over a period of time you won't notice that but if you let's say see your car after six months 
and then you look at the difference you will understand but anyways it is always safe to be sorry and i mean safe it's better to be safe than being sorry and you know the car shampoo is cheaper than the hair shampoo though you know the one rupee two rupee sachet is cheaper but if you buy a bottle of car shampoo the one that i bought was thousand rupees it still is around that price for five liters and you won't get five liters sh hair shampoo for that price so car shampoo is the best uh, even if you use surf it's still better than the hair shampoo okay so i'm i'm just it's a very controversial thing that i said but that is what it is okay so the next thing immediately after you know you have the soapy solution in your bucket first thing that people do is they go and smear it all over the vehicle and then what they do is they actually turn this small dust particles into minor minute sandpapers and they apply it throughout and it swirls the car so the first thing that you do is use some sort of running water either if you don't have a pressure washer use a hose or let's say if you don't have access to a hose you are living in an apartment use a bucket of water first you know pour that entire bucket of water all over the car so that all the loose dust goes away and then you apply a, a soapy solution on top of that so that will reduce your chances of getting scratches by almost 80 90 percent but another thing is that is for vehicle which just has dust like this if it has grime and if it has mud caked onto the body then what you have to do is you'll have to be very patient and make sure that you apply a lot of water and it just runs all the you know uh, dirt is gone otherwise that is the time that you take your car to a service center and get it washed if you don't have a pressure washer and also in the service center make sure you give your microfiber clothes for washing and don't let them use their mi microfiber clothes because the if you use the same microfiber or any cloth for that matter that you use for a wheel on the body it will scratch because the brake dust is very abrasive and it will scratch the entire paint so never make that mistake always understand it is important to keep separate clothes for wheel and for uh, the car okay another thing when you wash a car or a bike always start from the top to bottom don't go the other way because always the bottom has the maximum amount of mud and dust so if you go up then you will take all that dirt from the bottom and apply it all over the car and you know that will introduce a lot of swirl marks so always start from top to bottom okay so couple of things one you first rinse the car with running water or if you don't have access to running water then use a bucket if it is very dirty take it to a service center don't use a bucket if you have a pressure washer even if it is a lot dirty you can still wash it pretty safely so that is where the benefits of pressure washer comes but make sure that all the mud which is on the car is completely gone before you apply cloth in it okay the next thing that you do is you always make sure that you apply uh, the right kind of shampoo on the car don't use the hair shampoo it is important that you use the right kind of car shampoo that is what brings the shine it has some bit of wax also in it so it will preserve the shine secondly after you apply the soap leave it for like some time and then you know kind of rub it in properly so agitating the soap or foam on the car should be done only after a certain amount of time let the soap solution do its work and soak in all the mud and grime that you have on the car and then you agitate it so that whatever is left comes out then always start washing from top to bottom never go from bottom to top that is important if you don't do that then you will introduce swirl marks in paint uh, on the upper region from the dirt you have picked up from the bottom region and then the next point is always use a two bucket method so what is a two bucket method okay so you have one bucket where you put your soapy solution you have another bucket where you have clear clean water so what you do is every time you you know want to clean your wash mitt you 
dunk it in the clean bucket uh, and then squeeze it and get the all the soap out and then put it in the fresh soapy water and then again rinse the car don't use the same soapy solution that you have used in the bottom for applying on other panels so it is very important that you do it okay so now that we have covered almost everything that is required to be covered about how you wash a car or a bike without introducing any further damage to the paint now what we are going to do is i am going to leave you guys with a small time lapse of me washing this car okay and i hope you guys enjoy it all right thank you bye So that's how the fruits of hard work and labor comes out so after washing the car it is definitely looking smashing and it's one of a kind in the entire country there is not many cars with this kind of a configuration i haven't seen another cruise with which is black with this kind of a mud guard indicator mirrors spoiler alloys so I haven't seen this alloys in any cruise for that matter so this is kind of a very rare combination and it's an amazing car you know it's fun to drive I feel like taking it for a drive now but unfortunately uh, my lunch break is getting over so I have to get back to work and hopefully in the evening we'll take it out and have a small drive so it's always fun to wash your vehicles and clean so the outcome is definitely something that motivates us to do this so i hope you enjoyed seeing what you saw and i hope you like the video if you do please like share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye